We'll go ahead and get started. So as I said, my name is Chris Stegman. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of the Salt Lake Tribune, and I want to welcome you to our, our first first of uh, hopefully many Facebook live chats. Um, thanks for joining us today to, to discuss some of these exciting changes. But first, I really want to thank all of you all for your loyalty. In some cases, that loyalty spans many, many decades. Just be a little fun to, to have a little bit of fun with this. And uh, those of you that are comfortable in the chat box, I'd love to see how long some of you have been subscribers. And we're going to recognize somebody at the end of it for the, the longest subscriber that we have with us. Um, today, we're also going to be covering a, a variety of different things. So if you do have a question, there is a chat box, and we will definitely get to those. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our delivery and what to expect uh, January the 3rd. Lauren Gustis, will, will, who is our chief content officer, she's going to walk you through some of the exciting changes and, and kind of an overview of what you can expect on January 3rd and moving forward. Tim Fitzpatrick, who is our executive vice president, will go through our website and app changes. And then Claudia Laws, who heads up our marketing and, and customer loyalty, will walk through some of the different additional changes with in regards to the app and some additional instructions. So with that, I'll go ahead and begin. Um, you know, as I said, you know, we, we've got a, a lot of exciting changes. Uh, you know, probably the biggest thing is, um, and we were happy to announce, initially we, we did say we were going to be a mail product, but we are in fact going to be Sunday home delivered. And that's going to be through our uh, private carrier force. Um, and that carrier force, we're, as of today, we'll be able to reach about 98% of, of our area is going to get it home delivered. There are a, a, There is a small percentage that is outside of the geography that just makes it feasible for us to get to with a private carrier and they will be getting in the mail and hopefully Monday or Tuesday is the date that we're shooting for. Um, you know, lots of questions about new carriers. Um, and you definitely, you know, we're, our, our goal is to have papers to you by 730 every single Sunday. Um, and again, you know, not, not that you know, we, we, we want to make sure that every household gets delivered, but we will also be re-delivering if, if we do miss a household, which is going to be hopefully be the exception. One thing that's, that's new for us, and this is at no additional charge, and some of you probably have already noticed you're getting this, is you will be getting a daily email that notifies you of your daily e-edition. I've been getting it every morning about 524, and I'm able to read the paper online. Uh, Monday, and that's going to be Sunday through Friday. If you don't receive this, you need to activate your free digital subscription at sltrib.com backslash free. And again, that's a, an exciting change that will allow you daily to be able to have the same experience you have right now, just right in front of your, right in front of your screen. Um, you know, one of the things, the, uh, the, in, in addition um, to the addition is we have made changes to our website that we're going to talk through. If you didn't notice, December the 3rd, we relaunched SL Trip with a new format. And the goal of that was to give it a better, better customer experience and better viewing experience. Um, if you're a current subscriber, how does this affect payment? Your, your current expiration date, if you've currently subscribed, will carry over, um, carry over until it till it expires. And then you will be you'll given be given different options from a subscription standpoint. Uh, both from a, you know, a year long to a 26 week to a 13 time. Um, the 13 time starts at five, $5 a week. And then it goes down from there based on the length of your subscription. Um, so we, we have had several subscribers that have signed up that have not been able to put the payment into form yet. Uh, we will start calling all of the subscribers that have yet to be able to pay, and you will be get, this will not impact your January the third start, but we're going to begin calling you on January the fourth to get payment and to make sure that moving forward that you that no, there is no disruption in your service. So again, if you have any questions on that, please put those in chat, and we'll answer those uh, throughout the throughout this uh, this this Facebook Live as well as at the end. So at this point, I want to introduce Lauren Gustis, who joined us recently as Chief Content Officer, and she'll walk you through some of the exciting content changes and what to expect uh, moving forward. Thank you, Chris. Um, and thank you all for joining us uh, this afternoon. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share a sneak peek of um, the Sunday paper uh, that you can expect to receive starting on January 3rd. Um, we're calling it the weekend edition. It will be larger and more robust. Uh, 
we hope more thoughtful, um, uh, more proactive uh, than perhaps what we have um, what we have delivered in the past. Um, as you can see, the launch date is January 3rd, as Chris already covered, on your driveway uh, by 7.30 on Sunday mornings. Um, and we've designed a number of covers um, that I'll just share with you here as I walk you through how we've made uh, changes and um, uh, upgrades to the editorial um, components of the paper. So um, the newly um, uh, designed weekend edition uh, could include a cover such as the one on the front with no story starts, could include a cover such as the one in the middle with a number of story starts. And, and we could um, take a, a more creative approach as you see on the right uh, with some of the wonderful imagery that our staff photographers um, deliver day in and day out. The A section, which is the first section of the Sunday paper, will be 100% local. Uh, it will offer you a look at what to watch in the week ahead with regard to state and local politics, religion, education, and the economy. As I said, it'll elevate, elevate the best imagery of the week from across the state in a celebration that is all of Utah's beautiful public lands. And we expect that that will be both curated by our photographers and also will include photos um, that others have taken that we can elevate and celebrate. We'll include um, regular and robust religion reporting as we have um, for many years. Uh, we will produce both accountability and trend stories uh, and we'll offer more coverage of Utah's growth and innovation economies. As you may know, we're set to double in size over the course of the next 20 years. And that's a critical conversation for us to engage in as a community. Uh, all this is in addition to the reporting from analysis to explanatory, education, politics uh, that you expect from the Tribune on issues that are important to you as a resident of Utah. Um, also on Sunday, uh, a nation and world section that will include both look aheads and analysis of the week that was, expanded comics and puzzles, a sports section that's heavy on things that fans love from rankings to analysis to recruiting, uh, more food and drink reporting, um, as we look to discover new and exciting experiences in Utah in a revamped mix section, um, and also an expanded opinion section. Um, so here's a look at uh, the new opinion cover, um, which you can see includes um, columnist, Pat, or excuse me, cartoonist Pat Bagley, um, an editorial, um, op-eds. We will offer um, more uh, solicited op-eds, and by that uh, we mean how do we uh, respond to um, the news of the day such that we are soliciting perspectives on what's happening here in Utah. Um, we hope to break news in our editorials. Uh, we'll debut a new editorial board starting January 3rd. We'll offer national perspectives and, and we'll offer uh, both staff and, um, how do I say this, uh, uh, regular columnists that are not on our staff uh, as we look to uh, diversify the perspectives um, that we will welcome into the opinion section. So the sections of the paper will be the, the local or the Utah section to start, the nation and world section, which we're tentatively calling the week, the opinion section, the mix, sports, uh, and also spaces, which is a real estate uh, offering uh, that you that you see if you're currently a subscriber. We're very excited. We've been working hard on all of the stories that you'll see featured in that January 3rd issue, that lift off issue. Um, and we welcome your feedback. If you have thoughts, questions, or story suggestions, please find me. Um, I hope that someone can uh, can put my email in the chat. It is lgustus at sltrib.com. And I would love to hear from you as we go on down the road. We've also um, uh, offered uh, readers a survey in which they can tell us what they'd like to, us to focus on as we look ahead into 2021. And we can put that into the chat as well so you can share your opinion in that space. Um, I wanted to spend just a minute and let you know that if you're looking for the Salt Lake Tribune on any day that is not Sunday, you can still find it. We are producing an e-edition five days a week for subscribers only. Uh, it publishes starting January 1. It's available at sltrib.com. You can get the link for your email, as Chris said, or by downloading the Tribune's new and updated app. Um, and for local news and information on Saturdays, which is the one day we won't offer an e-edition, right? Because you'll receive your Sunday e-edition as well as your Sunday printed paper around the clock um, on Saturday and certainly on any other day of the week, we hope that you'll visit sltrip.com. Um, that's the, the spot to find it the fastest. Um, you can also sign up for newsletters there. So if you're interested in uh, receiving uh, 
news on uh, the Utah Utes, on BYU, on food and drink, um, uh, the Mormon land newsletter, they're all there. And so you can really set the pace um, and the tone and the cadence for the news and information that you're looking to receive from us. And I would be remiss if I did not let you know that there are 74 puzzles in the E edition. So if you're like me and you're uh, pretty pretty isolated with respect to the hopefully what is the last of um, you know a long stretch of, of um, uh, coronavirus uh, uh, you know uh, quarantine so to speak um, you have plenty to do if you if you're looking for uh, more in the puzzle space you can find it in the e edition. Um, and I and I just want to mention, if I could, we also just recently relaunched sltrid.com. Really is a reset for the Tribune across multiple platforms in what we do and how we do. Our goal is to serve you, uh, to be more relevant, to be essential, um, to be the news resource that um, uh, you can't help but pick up because there are things that are interesting to you. Uh, there are things that um, you've told us you want, and we have responded. Uh, so we've launched relaunched sltrid.com such that um, it's easier to to move around so there's a navigation up top here um, such that story pages load faster um, and such that you're able to navigate through um, um, the the content more effectively than you were in the past so um, with that i think i've reached uh, the end of of my time here I'm, again i'm happy to take your questions now or via uh, email and i hope to continue the conversation i'm going to stop sharing and pass it back to chris I was muted, so thank you very much. Um, going to answer a couple questions, and then a couple are going to be answered in some of the subsequent presentations from Tim and Claudia. Um, your current question about your current rate: um, when you're, as we said, your current subscription will run through the, the the termination of your subscription period. At that point, you will be offered uh, new rates, uh, new subscription rates based on our current model. Um, had a question about Deer Mountain subdivision of Commas. I've got to get familiar with that in Wasatch County. I know part of it, we are delivering some of it home delivered. So um, if you can, um, Rich Parker, I will look this up for you and I will try to get a hold of you and let you know like, specifically to your address. A um, couple questions about logins, and I definitely will, uh, you know, I think those questions will be answered uh, by Tim and Claudia coming up. Um, with that, I will uh, turn it over to Tim Fitzpatrick, our executive vice president, to go through web, some new web design changes as well as app. Hi there, um, welcome. I, uh, I'm gonna walk you through uh, the new site. I think, uh, Claudia, are you gonna get that up on a page for us? There we go, on the screen. So yeah, as Lauren mentioned, uh, essentially what we did is, uh, the thing about web is the technology never holds still. Uh, we constantly have to do this. We actually updated our website first about three years ago, but technology has changed fast enough that we actually became one of the slower websites. So we knew we had to go in there and deal with that. And when we did, we decided we could also address uh, some of the design issues. So what we really basically have tried to do is make the site faster and more compact. You can see more on any screen in terms of what the content is. We had a little bit too much white space in our old, uh, our old design. Um, going down uh, the page, we, as, as Lauren mentioned, we've added the navigation bar. Uh, we used to have that and, and we still have what's called the hamburger over on the side that is also navigation. But uh, on, the, on the desktop version, you'll be able to use that bar to get around to where you want to get to. Um, we have added a box about us. If you scroll down, you can see that box right there. This is basically uh, recognition that we are now a nonprofit that needs to serve the public. Uh, we, we always serve the public, frankly, but this is formalizing that. Uh, we will put things in there about upcoming events. Uh, we will uh, do other things essentially to uh, reach out to the public uh, to be an educational source, frankly. Uh, otherwise on the page, you'll see that we still have those ca categories you're used to, religion, opinion, uh, politics, arts and living, those will continue. Uh, we have, uh, we simplified some things. We got rid of, uh, there was a photo and video section that was essentially just a repeat of things that were above. Uh, we wanted to make it faster again, so it'll load faster. Um, and then we also, uh, you'll, you'll notice that little cookie down in the right corner. 
that uh, is related to uh, privacy laws. We are now live in Europe. We went for a couple of years without uh, being able to uh, show in Europe because they have a privacy law that we uh, had to do some things to comply with. There's a similar law in, in uh, California. We expect this to continue. This is just sort of uh, so people can control how much they're being tracked on the internet, basically. Um, okay, so let's uh, show the homepage, I mean, on uh, mobile. 70% of our page views to our site come through apps, I mean, come through uh, phones and tablets. That we are now at a point where people in, in their brief moments they have between things will come to us and look for news. Um, so we need to be uh, accessible and, and fast and, and able on mobile. We've done that. We're going to make more improvements in that respect. Um, so expect, uh, expect to see more there. Uh, okay, let, now let's go to an article page, please. And you can go back to the desktop. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so it's also worth noting that about two thirds of our page views are of article pages. And in a world driven by people searching and people using social media, most of the traffic to our site does not go through our homepage. It comes through different paths. So for many people, an article page is the homepage. So what we wanted to do there is, is improve the experience and we've done that. We have, uh, we widened the columns to make them a little bit more readable. We've added deck headlines at the top, which is basically a way to try to tell you more about the story to get you to read it. Um, and uh, so just a little bit more information there for you. Uh, we've also added a recommendation engine on the side. If you scroll down that thing that says recommended out there, this is based on uh, your uh, history on our site. That uh, if you are coming to us and regularly reading Utah Jazz stories, for instance, then you'll see more basketball news there. If you uh, like to read food stories, you'll see more food stories there. So it's a little bit of trying to uh, uh, find out what you want and then give it to you, basically. Um, and that's probably it for the site. We can go to the app next. So regarding the app, uh, as you know, we have, well, as you may know, we have had two apps. This has been a rough experience for our readers. I apologize. It's basically a consequence of the fact that we used to be in a partnership with the Deseret News. We still are for another week. Um, and, uh, and we didn't manage one of the apps. We only managed the other one. We now have a situation where we can bring them both together. We're going to have what's called a two-in-one app. And in that app, you'll be able to get not only breaking news, but also the e-edition, uh, if that's your interest. So it, let's go to the front page. This is how, when you open up the new app, um, which when you, you'll, Claudia will explain more about this, but you want to choose the red app when you, when you do this. The black app, the one that, we, uh, that has been with us for only about three years, is going away. You'll only have the red app, and that's good because it's the better experience. So the black app will disappear at the end of the year and on December 31st. The two-in-one app, basically when you open it, you'll, you can go into the breaking news side. I think it's going to open here in a minute. We had it once. Well, while she's doing that, I'll, I'll continue to talk. Um, basically, we have, uh, well, it, the new app will have, and this is important, frankly, will have obituaries, which we haven't had on our app for some time. So that's, we also have uh, games that are easier to get to. There was a question in the chat about printing out, uh, uh, printing out crossword puzzles from the e-edition. 
you can do that, but we can also make it easier for you. We're going to give you something you can click on that you can actually do those games right online. You don't have to print anything out. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to print anything out. Oh, and then also just simplifying, uh, it will be one login across everything. Uh, you won't have to have a separate login for the app, a separate login for the site. Um, you will have one login where you can manage your account. You can do everything basically. Um, so that simplifies. And then we, uh, it, it's worth pointing out that uh, any subscription can be used on up to five devices. The intent here is that uh, uh, we want not just you, we want your family, we want your spouse, we want everybody to be able to get in there. You can share the login and it'll be good for up to five devices. I think that's about all I've got. I'm happy to take any questions. I guess we'll leave questions for later. Is that? Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'd like to introduce Claudia Laws, and she's going to walk through some some different uh, other details regarding the app. Claudia. Hi, folks. Um, I am having some technical difficulties, which is seems to be de facto for. Um, when you are in front of everyone. Um, so Chris, could we maybe jump to some of the questions about around circulation, why I um, try to fix this right now? Yeah, absolutely, Thank absolutely. Um, so we'll, we'll go through some of the questions and some of the ones are answered. David Mead, uh, I'd like a, if you can maybe send me a, a, just your email at contact and I'll get back to you in, in regards to your question. My email address is C Stegman at sltrib.com and that's c-s-t-e-g-m-a-n at sltrib.com and if jenny if you can put my email in the in the chat box that'd be great as well um so a couple questions that we've come up uh, one of somebody asked um do their can they share their login with uh, their spouse and the you know, you, yes you can you you each can have your own login on one subscription um, so, you know, that's, uh, you can share that. I believe it's up to five. If I could jump in here for one moment. So what that actually is, is you guys can share a subscription on up to five devices. The login, however, is under one account, one name, one email. Um, we know that's not ideal and we're looking into ways to fix that in the future. But for now, each account is only tied to one email address. So you will, that email for the e-edition can only come to one user in the morning. Um, you are welcome to email it to your spouse or your children, um, or they can use your login on the app or on the website. But at this time, that can only go to one email. It is something we're hoping to fix in 2021. Um, but at this time, you can use that one login on up to five devices. Yep. Uh, the question about came in about, should I delete the black app? And the answer is yes, delete the black app. Is the app available on both Android and iPhone? Uh, Tim, I, I think you had that, that question. Yes, it, it will be available on both. Here's one other thing I should have pointed out too. We will not have in-app purchases anymore. You, what you have to do to become a subscriber is you'll have to go to the website and subscribe. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to uh, use your login to get into the uh, app, but you're not gonna be able to buy through the apps anymore. Great, thanks, Tim. And is there a Kindle app? Do you want to address that, Tim? Uh, you know, Kindle. There is not a Kindle app. I can take that question. Okay. Um, we have submitted to Kindle at this time, and we are just waiting for approval. Yep. So um, we don't know how long that takes. Everything seems to take a little longer around the holidays than it should on a normal um, time frame. But we do have a Kindle app. It's been developed. It's been submitted. And our development team is really eager, um, really eager to get that going. We had several questions around password issues um, in regards to being able to access your password. Um, and, and again, if it password reset, we will put some some URL some URLs in um, in the chat box. But sltrib.com backslash my uh, hashtag my dash account. Uh, we'll put that in the, the chat box if you have issues and we definitely can address those and be able to help you out with your passwords. Nothing more frustrating than not being able to reset your passwords. Um, one question was about the length of time that you have access to the e-edition link. Tim, you want to address that one? 
Uh, I'm, if I understand it, that, that link will be live all day. And yep. then the next day, uh, it'll be the next day's link basically. So, uh, but it should be, it should be live all day. Yep. Let, let, let me know if it isn't. <laughs> I think Tim, Tim talked about how we'll do our crossword a little bit. Um, any other questions come in the chat box since then? I don't see any additional ones. Again, I think, you know, we're, we're definitely, you know, here to help and answer any questions you might have. Um, you know, again, I, I, Webmaster is, I think, posting everything. So hopefully very soon you'll have the links in there in the chat box. I did not see any length of time for subscribers. So um, I didn't see any, any in the chat box unless, it, unless I'm missing it. Lauren, Tim, Claudia, anything to add before I close out? Only that we will continue to improve. Yeah. Um, we did have another question. Why are you using 58 weeks instead of 52 for a yearly subscription? Great question. It's actually, we're, we are going to have 53 issues. So we are going to have a Thanksgiving issue. So if you subscribe in the fourth quarter, you will have 14 weeks rather than 13 weeks. If you subscribe to a 53 week subscription, you will have five weeks for free. You know, I mentioned, you know, one of the, we have, th you know, three different subscription uh, possibilities or, or options. One is a 13 week, one is a 26 week, and then the other is a 53 week. If you subscribe for 26 weeks, you'll get 29 weeks. You subscribe for 53, you, you will get 58 weeks. So that's what the 58 week subscription is. You'll have five additional weeks on your subscription. I'll give another minute for any questions before we close out. And again, thank you all for bearing, bearing with us. This is, a, this is our first Facebook Live event where we're actually holding it to, to go through changes and we'll definitely conduct more of these as the year goes on. I think that was it. So um, Claudia, give me a thumbs up for anything else. One more, we got one more question, will there? What I would just like to let you guys know, since we've run into a little bit of a tech issue here, we'll upload a video later today that explains, really shows the difference between the black app and the red app and how to navigate the red app so that you can toggle between the e-edition and the live news edition. Um, we've had some really good feedback on that and I'm bummed that we've ran into some technical difficulties here, but we will get that up on the website today and we'll share it on our Facebook page as well. Um, so that if you're following along, you'll, you'll get that information. And my apologies for whatever's happened here with that. Thanks, Claudia. On behalf of Tim, Claudia, and Lauren, I want to thank you all, one, for joining us today. But again, as I said earlier, thank you for your loyalty. Uh, many of you, for many, many decades, you really help it make, make, it, make it possible for us to really do a great job in, in Utah and really helping us pr provide great local journalism. So Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and have a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Thanks.